50% in these potential matchups with Democratic opponents. That may not even be the worst of it. Check this out. The president finding new ways to create diplomatic crises of his own making around the globe. We're not even just talking about the idea of buying Greenland. And then there's this. Fresh reporting. Quote, he's rattled. That is how one Republican is now describing President Trump's fears, his state of mind, his private anxiety facing these potential economic jitters. According to new reporting fresh tonight from the Washington Post, Donald Trump has long been banking on a strong economy to be his key, his path to some sort of narrow electoral college re-election. Now, in public and in private, the president apparently shaken by these jitters and this market slump this week. The Post reporting mounting signs of global economic distress this week have alarmed President Trump, who's worried a downturn could imperil his re-election. The president has sounded anxious and apprehensive. Or take this from the New York Times. In private, he's expressed his own anxiety about the economy taking a dive, knowing his electoral fortunes are likely tied to it. And that's not all. While those are accounts from rigorous and fact-checked newspapers, there are other indicators that the president follows as well, like this new polling from Fox News. A growing number of Americans simply unhappy with the way Donald Trump deals with the economy. And this is, of course, before any big market adjustment hits, if it does hit. 46% of voters say that imposing tariffs on these import products from places like China hurts the economy. So as the president's fears rise, how does he respond? Well, we're seeing a pattern. It's one you may know about. It's a type of deflection and division attacking political rivals. Here's how the New York Times describes Trump's rally last night in New Hampshire. Quote, his speech was at times the greatest hits album of favorite lines. Who were you? The 2016 campaign against Clinton, bashing the news media, Democrats, and America's allies in Europe. Typically rambling, veering on and off script, seemingly at random over an hour and a half. The Times reports that the president repeats.